you want to improve your photography, in this video I will show you how a simple photo book with your own photos can make you a better photographer. And I will give you some simple tips how to get out better quality of your photo book. Hi my friends, nice to see you. So how can a photo book make you a better photographer? And I don't talk about a book about photography, I talk about a photo book with your photos inside. And what I tell you in this video is such a simple thing, but it massively improved my photography. Well, if you want to improve any handcraft, you have to engage with it. You have to inhale all information you can get. And you need practice, lots of practice. You have to try out everything you learned in theory and praxis. And finally, you will get better and better. And when we talk about photography as an art, we should not only consider the handcraft itself. It's so easy to get sharp photos. It's easy to use filters. It's easy to choose the right lens or even to use the light to your advantage. The most difficult thing and where you also should put most effort in is to get a compelling composition. And it was so easy. The more we engage with composition, the more we improve. But there is one really big problem. When you're out on location, how much time do you spend to build up a composition? 30 minutes, an hour, maybe two or three when you're a sportsman? And how much time do you put into your processing? 15 minutes, an hour, maybe also two or three hours when you are a sportsman. This sounds after high effort, especially for the sportsman variation. But in my experience, this isn't enough. So what can we do? Should we spend 10 hours out on location to build up a composition? Should we put 10 or 15 hours to process our images in Lightroom or Photoshop or wherever? I think when we would do it like that, it could be a little bit monotone and boring. So what I do is, I always engage with my old photos. And this is not so easy as it sounds, to be honest. You can go to one of these digital cemeteries, how they are called, oh, Instagram, Facebook, and so on, and have a look at your photographs and think about your compositions, but who is doing this? When you go to Instagram or Facebook, you have to like any photographs, you have to write comments, you have to answer your comments or whatever, you have to engage with other people, but usually no one is engaging with his photographs there. You can also have a look at your photos on your hard drive, but who is doing this? They are really good a heave there, too good if you ask me. And it's totally different with prints. So when you print a photograph or when you have a print in front of you, it's a kind of relaxing. You, you watch it at this photo, you really study it, you, you can enjoy it once more. You can, maybe if it's your own photograph, you can remember to the feelings and the emotions you had when you were out at the location and you took the photograph. So you get out really much more from a print than if you have only stored it on your laptop or your computer or wherever. It's really a big difference. So you can print all your photos and hang them up on the wall, but let's be honest, if you print all your photos and you hang them up all on your wall and you don't live in a palace or something like this, it will get tricky with the space. And what I do is I print photo books and I do this every year. A photo book is small and compact. I have it at my coffee table and so it's reachable whenever I have time. When I'm sitting on my couch maybe, I can grab it, I can have a look, I can go through my photos and I can enjoy them. And, and the really important thing, I can also think about the compositions again. I really can take time for it. It's not something like I've seen a photograph on Instagram and I scroll through and I see the next photo and so on and I spend a fraction of a second for a photograph. Here I can really take the time and look at my photographs. I can think about what would I do different. And when I do this, I always reflect my compositions. I think about what do I laugh at these photographs. I think about what would I maybe do different today? Because you know, my experience increases and increases with the time. So it's really, really a great thing. And I ask the most important questions. 
Does the photograph say what I wanted to say when I took it? Does it convey the mood what I wanted to convey? Because I've gone a little bit away from the photograph, I got already distance and this allows me to look at them maybe through other eyes and this really improves my photography. And so whatever I think about my photographs, whatever I think I could do it better when I'm next time out for photography and could be that I will try to take the same photograph again but better, it could also be that I'm out on location anywhere else but I think about my mistakes, what would I do different today and this really really helps me to get out better photographs when I'm out on location next time. It's such a simple thing but it really really helps you to improve your photography. And it's really easy to order a photo book. I do this over labs, but there's a big difference between all the labs. And I tested here the professional line of Saal Digital recently. When I compare them to others, they are really expensive, but the quality is amazing. I'm not sponsored by them, but the quality is really amazing. You can choose different covers, maybe leather or wooden optic. I choose here for a wooden optic and they also decided for an acryl cover with a photograph of me because yeah, this, this looks really pretty good. And the very important thing for me is the choice of the right paper. And Sal Digital offers here glossy, matte and how do they call it? High-end matte. And first I tended to use high-end matte because it looks a little bit more painterly and you know, I always want to have my photographs a little bit more in this direction of a painterly look. But a really important thing is that you try to find out how your photographs will really look then in your photo book. And what I did is I ordered this sample from Sal Digital so you can have a look at each paper they have and how it will look when it's printed. Such samples are not only offered by Sal Digital, also other labs offer it. It costs some euros, I don't know how much really, I think something like 10 or 15 euros, something like this. But you have to consider there are more papers in than only for the photo book. So whatever you want to print there could also be that you want to print fine art prints for hanging up your photos on the wall. What's really a great idea by the way. You can also have a look at the samples and get an idea what's the difference. And I always prefer more matte paper. It has a little bit less dynamic range but finally it gets a little bit more into this look what I want to have. And finally, I decided for matte for my photo book because I thought it would look best for my photographs. And what I really like at these photo books is the lay flat binding. So it's no problem when your photos go over the middle. It looks really, really fantastic because it's really flat and you don't have to consider that you stay at one side, at one page with your photo. So for example, when we have a look here, for example, it's a really wide photograph and it's no problem when it goes over. I can put another photograph here at this side so that it, it looks really fantastic. And you can lay out it by yourself. On Sal Digital you have two options. You can do this online in a normal internet browser or you can also download a software and you can install it. It is free of charge. There are no costs for the software and you can make your layout however you want it. To be honest, in the past I had already troubles with the online version, the browser. I think I had a little bit too many pictures there for the browser and so it always crashed and it didn't really work for me. But I heard already from other photographers that it worked. I always used the software from Sal Digital and this really works. Absolutely stable. I have no problems with it and I can design my photo book however I want it and it's really easy to use. As I already mentioned, Sal Digital is really expensive. I think the professional line starts at around 60 euros but it depends on the number of pages you have in your photo book and in this case I had 90 photos and it cost 130 euros something like this. And I had a question of one of my subscribers his name is the photos guy and he asked how to prepare a photograph for printing because I think he said he had a problem that when he printed it it looked different. And Sal Digital for example offers two options here. The first option is when you don't have experience with printing, I can really recommend this option. You can configure the option that Sal Digital prepares your photograph for you so that you don't have to consider anything. And that's a really great idea if you don't have experience with printing. So they do a couple of different things, but the main thing what they do is they clip unused space in the histogram. 
So you know the most important information of a photograph is in the midtones. Here the photograph is defined and the highlights and the shadows give you contrast. So you always should consider that you have highlights and shadows in your photographs. And you also should consider, it depends on the paper obviously, but everything around about 20% in the shadows from 0 to 20% there is no difference in the colors. So when they clip unused space at the highlights and also on the shadows and when they increase also the shadows a little bit the photograph will look better as a print. And as I already mentioned if you don't have experience with printing this is really a great option. But if you want to get out the best quality out of your photo book what I do is I calibrate my screen I do this all three or four months and I can get sure that all the colors are really that colors what are printed afterwards. I also have a look at my tonality, this means I have a look at my histogram to get an idea if it's maybe too dark or too bright and what I also always do is I decrease the brightness of my screen. And then I download the bra file for especially the paper I want to print. So for each paper there is offered a profile free to download and then I can have a look on my screen how it will look when it's printed. So I see then for example that the shadows are flat and I have to increase them and so on and I really can get a better idea what I have to do. Maybe to make it a little bit warmer or colder, whatever the paper is. A good question of the photos guy and if you have questions by the way please just write them into a comment below any of my videos. I'm always open for any problems you have in photography, for any ideas you have, for anything you want to know or for any wishes maybe, what you want that I explain or what you want that I photograph. So just feel free to comment below, I am really happy about. And I do this every year, usually in the end of the year, but if you have seen already in my last video, I made a, a photograph which took me 200 hours and I needed a year for processing and I finished the processing a couple of weeks ago and this is the reason why I ordered the book from last year now and I've also included some of the photographs what I've taken this year so I'm really happy with it it looks really really fantastic and when I have a look at it it's really really relaxing just to go through just to have a look at them and yeah not only reflecting, also enjoy them, also relax them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up, share this video with your friends, maybe on Facebook, Instagram. It would really, really help me to grow this channel. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't have already. Thank you so much for watching. See you next Saturday. Bye. I'm the landscape you need to see. You are the artist I'll never be. Stay with me and I have no doubt You'll make a painting that makes you proud